Hey everyone, Justin from justicekit.com here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a melting watch effect in Photoshop. So we're going to get that melted look by having some fun with the liquify filter. So if you go over to the filter menu, you should see liquify all by itself right here. Once you open it up, it does sometimes load and take a lot of memory, so be patient if you're running on a slower computer. Here on the left, you should see the different tools you can select, and we're just going to start with this basic finger tool. It's the forward warp tool. So the size you want to use is one that's big enough for the object you're trying to melt. So it's going to depend on your photo, but I'll use 600 for this photo here. And the pressure is how strong you want the finger to kind of be pushing down on the image, I could say. So I'm going to leave mine at 50. So another thing you can do is check advanced mode. And this is going to give you a lot more options here. And we're going to use some of the reconstruction options just in a second. So check advanced mode just for later. So I'm going to go ahead and just click and kind of start melting away here. And it's kind of just like finger painting. Um, it's going to give some melt and wobble to the whole image here. But I'm going to be careful not to touch a lot of the outside or the background or the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You also have some options for some different tools um, in the liquify menu, like this swirl tool right here. So this twirl clockwise tool. And instead of dragging and holding this one, you actually can just click and hold and it'll kind of twirl things around like a blender. So I'll do that a couple times. But once you're done, you might notice that this is a bit much and it looks kind of unrealistic. So a great tool is the reconstruct options tool. So if I click reconstruct here, Photoshop will give me a slider from 0 to 100 on how much I want to reconstruct the image. So this is perfect. Um, I'll just take it and I'll just bring it up until I like the effect. So I'll go ahead and select OK there. I like that. And then I'll press OK to finalize the effect. So I have that kind of melting clock look there. And then just to top it off and give it a little bit of that more moody color and kind of pay some homage to the original painting, I'll just add a quick um, color filter over it. So I'll go over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Gradient Map. And then if I use this purple to orange default that Photoshop has, and set it to overlay and then lower the opacity to like 30 30 or 40 percent it kind of gives it that more sunsetty color look i'm just doing a quick color effect for the sake of this tutorial but if you check on my channel you can see dozens of more complex color effects that you could add any of them on here or make it black and white or do whatever you want so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for future videos. Also, let me know what you thought below in the comments and I'll see you next time.